Hello and welcome to Vector Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. Today I'm going to talk about how to use conditional text in InDesign. This feature is very useful when you want to create different versions of the same document without creating new files. So use one InDesign document and in that document just use conditions to set up the different versions. You will understand what I'm talking about as soon as we go through this example. So let's just zoom a little bit closer and you can see I created a sample of a menu where we have two different prices. We have the British pounds and the American dollars. So each of these coffees uh, you have with two different prices. And let's say we would like to print out a version of this uh, menu with only the pounds and another one with only the dollars. But also we would like to have a different set of options possible to buy in different stores. So there are many versions and it would be a little bit complicated to have separate pages and then print them uh, separately for each of the stores of this uh, calf. Instead of that we will do everything in one document by using the conditional text feature. So this is the panel, conditional text, but you can find this under the window menu, type and tables and then conditional text. All the text that you normally have, if you don't use conditional text, should be unconditional. So whenever you select text, it will already sh uh, show you that it's unconditional text. And this is something that you can't turn off or on. You can't change the visibility of it. But once we select something like, let's just say we select the pounds here and we create a new condition by clicking on this icon here, we can call this British. British pound and save it and then we choose this one here and call this as a new condition and call this American dollar and let me just go back and change the B like that so we have this saved as American dollar and the other price is saved as British pound so I created these two and I assigned the conditions uh, to the prices. So this one is set to British pound using that little uh, tick. I apply the condition and this one here is set to American dollar. So what can we do if we start use these uh, conditions? If I turn off the American dollar, it will only show the British um, price on the first line and uh, vice versa if I turn off the British pound then it will get rid of that and only show the American dollar price. So that is very useful and once we set this up it's very easy to assign it. We just have to go uh, through the whole text and say which one is which. So that one is again British pound and that one is American uh, dollar. We can have more conditions on the same selected text as well. We are going to use that. So I'm just going to set up the first three just to see how it looks. So if I turn off the dollars, we see the pounds or vice versa. Now we only see the dollars. So that is very useful. But what if I want to have a different set of um, coffees offered in different stores? But by using the same InDesign document, I would like to uh, keep all these changes. So I am going to, let's just say, select this here. And for this, I'm going to create a new condition. I'm going to call this small calf and save it and apply this condition. And then I'm going to select a couple of options here which I'm going to save as a new condition and call this exclusive options and save it. So I'll make sure it's applied as well. So once you create a condition, you still have to apply it to the selection. So let's see now if I press W, we can see underlined uh, parts in our text. So for example, here the currencies have two different kinds of lines. 
first of all they have the British or the American uh, conditions applied to them and then we also have the small calf condition and if we go further down we can see this darker blue is the exclusive options condition and by the way these colors can easily be changed by double clicking on a condition and setting it up here you can even change the appearance or the method so it can be underlined or highlighted sometimes I prefer the highlight option so I just wanted to show you and you can have different ways of showing uh, the conditions and it's only visible if you are in the normal view so if you are in uh, preview mode uh, you can switch between these, these two views by pressing W uh, if you are in preview mode you won't be able to see the conditions or the marks for the conditions so now we have more options here and for example if I turn off the exclusive options then we have less uh, coffees to choose from but in these cases for example when I remove a couple of uh, options it's better to also set the condition a little bit longer so even include the line break in the condition uh, the way you can see the special characters is to press command alt i or control i and then make sure that this line break character is also included in the exclusive options uh, condition that means if i uh, zoom out a bit and see what happens if i turn off the visibility of exclusive options you can see we won't have any empty lines there because the line break itself was also included in the condition so we can turn off different features separately but we can also set up condition sets so what if for example I have an option when I would like to see only the American dollar prices and I don't want to see the exclusive options then I can create a set for that uh, but first it's good to turn off the visibility of the British pound which we don't want to see and the exclusive options and then we save this as a set so I click on set create new set and I'm going to call this just simply test so instead of always turning on and off features we can just choose a set of conditions and then in design will automatically switch to that so let's just see this now we are going to go back to none and uh, choose all the options visible and then I choose set and choose test so a quick way to switch between conditions it's useful especially if you have many conditions set if you create a list of conditions which you would like to use in different InDesign documents you can also choose load conditions and sets from other InDesign documents and by the way if you don't see the sets option you need to choose show options from the drop down menu of this panel and that's all what I wanted to show you about conditional text I hope you will find this feature useful and also that you will join me next time here on Vector Tuts Plus thanks a lot for your attention